Welcome to the Enzo Coppola Sports Channel on YouTube. Today we're covering the Moses Mabida Stadium in Durban, which was built specifically for the 2010 World Cup. The stadium, the Moses Mabida Stadium, is virtually 100 meters away from the Kings Park Stadium. Uh, and the big question is why was the Moses Mabida Stadium built with such a good stadium alongside? There are a number of questions around the Moses Mabida Stadium. One of the main things being the lack of maintenance. And this is highlighted by the fact that this sky car, which is supposed to be one of the main features of the stadium, has been un in operational for probably upwards of four or five years. And nothing has been done to get it fixed. There are a number of shops in the stadium that are lying empty and have been like this for quite a while now. This is a bust of Moses Mabida. You may or may not see, but there's quite a lot of rust setting in on those columns that are holding up the roof of the stadium. Just to highlight, <clears throat> sorry, just to highlight the lack of maintenance you'll see that there's trees growing at the side of the stadium, the stadium wall. Not only there, but also further down. More lack of maintenance as you can see by all the dirt underneath a large parapet on top of these vertical columns. There's no doubting that it's an architectural wonder that it's become a, a feature of Durban's skyline since it was built. The question is, if it was dedicated to be for football alone, why has it become a white elephant? What a beautiful view. At some point there was also a swing, um, almost like a bungee jumping kind of swing that was a very popular feature of the stadium. I'm not sure whether it was due to COVID or not that it stopped now, but that's also not operating. <laughs> 